to slash their throat, Ensuite, then they would be dropped into the pit. Pour les their clothes were, they were undressed, pour, uh, and uh, the dress, the clothes were piled up. Fosse. And after they completed the day's killing, I would be ordered to collect the clothes and to bring them to a pond terminé, west of the prison and try them there je for a few days. Then I, I brought habits, the clothes to keep in a warehouse near the interrogation prison, place. And later on, jours. there, were, there Ensuite, would be a vehicle, a Land Rover, coming to transport tard, those clothing to the close to the cooperative. Mr. President, Your Honours, the tragedy le happening le at Krang Tajan and Tram Taka Cooperative as explained in the testimony of civil parties original, original, original originated from the plan and policy uh, created by uh, the accused Nguyen Chia Kinsvon and their associates. The similar crimes uh, happen in other uh, crime sites as well. My uh, colleague will explain further about those. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. And may I seek uh, your permission to allow my uh, colleagues to continue. President, uh, you may now continue. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is Hong Kong Soon. From CDP. CDP. And good morning to uh, your honors. Bonjour. Good morning to the parties and the Monsieur general Président, public. Madame, I will make et my député. presentation in relation Je to uh, security centers and the internal approaches. On the segment of the security centers, Sec security centers were established and operated throughout Cambodia near the beginning of the democratic Cambodia regime and were operational until it fell. The trial chamber is seized of facts relating to four security centers, S21 security center, or nowadays called Dulslein Prison, Plum Crowd security center, O Consign security center, and Security Center, which was discussed early in relation to the Trump co cooperatives by my colleague. The closing order that seizes the trial chamber states that the objectives in establishing and operating these security centers was to implement and defend the CPK socialist revolution through the re-education of bad elements and the killing and smashing of enemies both inside and outside the party ranks by whatever means necessary, that is, closing order, paragraph 178 to 179. The trial chamber will have to first determine whether facts relating to the crimes of imprisonment, enslavement, murder, extermination, imprisonment, persecution, and all other inhuman acts occurred uh, the security centers within the scope of case 002 and second to determine whether the accused can be held responsible for those crimes. 296 civil parties were admitted on the basis of crimes alleged at security centers and execution sites. Two civil parties testified in relation to Nom Krao Security Center and Office K-11 located at Mondolkiri Province. And ten civil parties testified as to crimes at S-1 Security Center. No civil party testified in relation to all concerned security centers. However, documents were presented during the relevant key documents hearing. As for the security center, 
through several parties, Sun Buk and Go Naim testified in relation to Phnom Krao Security Center and Office K-11. Several parties, Sun Buk was a direct victim of imprisonment and torture at Phnom Krao and testified to the harm he suffered. Civil Party Sunbot joined the Khmer Rouge Army in 1974 after the liberation of Phnom Penh on April 1975. Civil Party Sunbot explains that Onka dispatched his division, that is Division 920, to protect the border with Vietnam in Koh Nye District, Mandukiri Province. The civil party was then appointed as chief of a company. While Sunwood was stationed in Mandulkiri, his leaders were called to attend a study session, and it was said that they were killed on the accusation of betraying Anka. In November to December 1977, during the harvesting season, the civil party was arrested and detained on the accusation of betraying Ong Gan. He was detained at Nong Krao for three to six months, where he was interrogated, shot with electric cables, beaten, and tortured to get a confession. In his words, and I quote, I was taken out from that prison to a secret hut where I was interrogated. First, they actually shot me with electricity cables, and I lost consciousness. And I thought that I died after I fell unconscious, and when I regained consciousness, they shot me again. After they relapsed, they actually beat me up and interrogated me. Après avoir retrouvé mes esprits, ils m'ont effectivement frappé et interrogé. He further explains the effects of his arrest and torture on his family. Il a également expliqué les faits que son arrestation et les tortures qu'ils ont été infligées ont eu and, sur sa famille. Uh, Allow me to present the uh, video clip of that uh, civil party. Un vidéo de cette partie civile. I was bitten with a club, and that club was big, and the size was about my forearm. De la taille de they beat me two or three times with a club, and I lost consciousness. Deux ou trois fois avec, uh, ce Each time that they beat me, I lost consciousness. Je perdais connaissance. And then after a while, they shook me, and then I regained Après consciousness, moment, secoué, and they beat me again moi, and again to extract my confession. They said, if I don't aveux. respond to the questions, they will beat me to death. Ils dit que si and je because, because the beating on me was so mort. serious that I lost my consciousness, Et vu and frappé, I could not say anything. They beat me with the big clubs. Ils m'ont frappé à l'aide de gros gourdins. This civil party also uh, explained about the effects of the arrest and torture on his family and allowed me to quote, I felt so pain, I served the revolution, I served on God with my full hand. I defend the country, but I was accused by on God. As a result, my parents, siblings, and relatives were killed. En conséquence, mes parents, I resent that, and every time I think of that, I become overwhelmed with grief. Every time I hear people speaking about this, I almost uh, had my tear falling. In relation to a security parle, center in the middle of Phnom Penh, that is a one security center, or nowadays a two-story prison. The case of 0025 segment on S21 was not a mere repetition of case 001. Through an analysis of new contemporaneous documents in the case file, we found approximately 114 civil parties who had relatives or friends detained or executed at S21, as highlighted in our closing brief. 
We believe that those individual cases realizes the trial chamber in characterizing the crimes of imprisonment and extermination at S21. Ten civil parties are testified as to crimes at S21 Security Center, including Jum, civil party Jumai, who is a direct victim, and eight other civil parties, namely Chahib, Pungyat, Rukyu CE, Kansantara, Chaukum, Keunip, Um Sopani, and Son M. Son M. They testified to the indirect harm they suffered as a result of their loved ones who were killed at a 21 security center. Several parties also testified that they were harmed and continue to suffer due to the loss of their property, which was confiscated during the Khmer Rouge regime. Et ont affirmé continuer de souffrir à cause de leur part, la perte de leur bien, May, confisqué sous le régime. Who was a direct victim la at S21 was arrested on 28 October 1978 from the state sewing unit of which he was a union member. De his wife de and daughter were not aware of his arrest or of his transfer to Sa S21 security center. Au courant de son Civil Party Jumei was imprisoned and interrogated for five days. When security military sought for mechanics, and that was why his conditions altered and was required to repair typewriters. His detention at a 21 security center is evidenced by five contemporaneous lists of prisoners, which are all on the case file and uh, listed in our uh, closing brief. Civil Party Jumai's confession is also on the case file. The Civil Party testifies that he was walked out of the prison with 18 others on 7 January 1979 when the Vietnamese soldiers arrived in Phnom Penh. Civil Party Jumei testified to the suffering of the imprisonment, enslavement, torture, and other inhumane acts that he endured. And as a result of this cruelty until now, he continues to suffer damage to his hearing and eyesight because of the acts of torture inflicted upon him. And civil party may describe for the chamber of the torture he suffered at s security Center. And please play video clip number two of civil party. At the time, they beat me and asked me how many people were part of my network in the CIA and KGB. I told them that I did not know what the CIA and KGB were. Then they had a rip and uh, beat me up. I used my hand to protect myself, and as a result, one of my fingers was broken. Then they used a plier to pull out my toenail. I told them that I did not know the CIA and the KGB. They beat me even more, and they used electric cable to shock me on my ear. I became dizzy and I lost consciousness. I was electrocuted on two occasions. And uh, one of my eyes uh, could no longer see clearly and I did the same thing for my uh, ear. I could not hear properly in one of my ears. Questioned. 
the result of your poor uh, eyesight and Question. ear. Uh, when did it happen? Quand s'est produit cette uh, détérioration de votre vue et de votre vue? It was when bouche. they uh, used electric uh, electric réponse. cable to shock me. C'est lorsqu'ils ont utilisé des câbles électriques pour uh, me Several party to my experience that he would not have confessed, but for the pain he suffered, que été la douleur, he uh, just kept a saying and allowed me to quote. Avoué. I gave them some things that were real and some things that were not real during my confession. Lors de mes aveux, my confession that it was part of the CIA and KGB was not real. Because I did not know these organizations, but because I suffered so much, so I simply gave the answers according to their wishes. Je leur ai simplement donné les réponses qu'ils attendaient. Another indirect victim of uh, I certainly want to be in center, Chahib, is cried about the. Death of his brother, il a and allow me to quote. La mort de son I was at home cite, and I heard about the news on the radio broadcast. Et les I did not have radio, money to travel to Tulslang. And later on, DC came and brought the document and a photo of my brother to my village. village. They asked uh, uh, another villagers, but I was uh, taken uh, to. They were taken to my house, and when I saw the photo of my brother, I wept for the whole day because I felt pity for him. They mistreated him before they killed him because in the photo he looked very thin. Back then, when I saw him during my visit, he was in good health. He looked healthy. I burst into tears when I saw that photo and I heard that he was detained there. It's the photo of my brother and the surname in this photo is like my surname. It is exactly the photo of my brother. When the DC cam showed me the photo to me, I cried for a whole day and I felt very pity for him. La photo de mon frère. Je pleurais toute la journée quand j'avais pitié de lui. Another civil party, Pungyat, also described uh, seeing the pictures of her other sister and three other brothers hanging at the tool slide. And allow me to quote, I loved her very much. She took care of her younger siblings, bathing her, looking after us. When my mother went uh, to work, everywhere she went, she would take us along. She my mother was not at home. At the time she took care of us, she didn't want us to go anywhere in case we would be arrested by lunar soldiers since we were women. And later on she disappeared and later on I learned that she died at Tulsai. I could not imagine how miserable it was for her to be there. I saw her photo at Tulsai and from the appearance in the photo she was severely Severely tortured, Je peux peine and you could see that through her eyes. I could not imagine how severely she was tortured, and of course. Pungyat also described seeing her three other brothers' photos at Tulsai, and I quote I was very sad. I vaped to the point that I almost lost my consciousness. And of course, another civil party, Ruhju CE, who is an indirect victim of S2103 Center, described how she learned about the fate of her husband, Ruk Saren, when visiting to Slay after the liberation. And please uh, play video clip number three of Civil Party Ruchu CE. It was called a political school. The trainer took the uh, participants to see the genocidal museum at the Tulsang.
while I was there, I walked around visiting each room, seeing those uh, torture instruments. Vu, uh, les instruments de torture. I saw a lot of things there and I do not want to describe them again. Et je ne veux pas les à and finally, I went to a room et enfin, je suis dans une where salle photos of prisoners were displayed. Des photos de prisonniers étaient affichées. That was the times that my pulse was a racing. C'est à ce moment-là que mon cœur I tried to scream at every single photo displayed. And I saw amongst those photos some people that I knew. Photos, and finally I saw a photo of my husband. Et finalement, j'ai vu une photo de mon mari. It was there and I wanted to cry out loud. Elle était là et j'ai voulu hurler. I almost fainted. Je me suis presque évanouie. However, there was a voice telling me not to cry une voix me disait de ne pas pleurer and to collect myself. Et de me ressaisir. I somehow regained my strength. J'ai réussi à reprendre des forces and I tried to collect myself and from that time onward I told myself that I could not live in a country je me suis dit, in such conditions je me suis dit que je ne pouvais pas vivre dans un pays dans un tel état And that I had to do my best for the future of my children. Et que je devais since faire tout ce qui en, they tout no ce longer had a father, and enfants, they relied entirely on me plus leur père, as their mother. Et absolument sur moi, I had to uh, sell everything mère. in order to feed my children. Tout vendre pour nourrir mes enfants. After the visit, everybody looked sad. Après la visite, tout le monde avait l'air triste. Uh, in particular, I became worse. I no longer had any hope. Pour moi, and I made mon my decision then that I had to migrate somewhere or to Je n'avais pas d'espoir, et j'ai pris la décision. De migrer ailleurs ou d'aller en France. Uh, President in relation to uh, direct and indirect uh, victims of the security center, I'd like to conclude it uh, now. And I'd like to move on to the uh, internal uh, purchase in the East Zone. À la fin de mon propos sur ce thème, the trial chamber is seized with the facts regarding the assistance and the implementation of the policy to implement and defend the civic socialist revolution through the re-education of bad elements and the killing of enemies both inside and outside the party ranks by whatever means necessary, which includes the purchase of the East Zone. The East Zone purge allegedly started from mid-1926 when the arrest of the former security of Sector 24 and a former cadre of Division 170. 118 civil parties were admitted on the basis of the purchase. Three civil parties described their experiences as former cadre and were directly harmed by the targeting of cadre and soldiers from the East Zone. Each civil party testified on the harm and sense of betrayal they suffered as a result of the purchase of the East Zone. 
experience of civil parties due to harm and suffering. Civil party Yun Bin. Du fait des Chun préjudices Samon. et souffrances endurées, les partis civils Yun Bin, Chun Samon and through TCCP 1040 were direct victims of the targeting of East Zone soldiers and cadre during the purge. They each testified to long-term physical suffering because of the injuries they sustained when they were sent for execution for being East Zone soldiers. One civil party affected by the East Zone purge testifies to the grief and pain they felt because of the disappearance or death of their family members during the regime. Civil parties affected by the East Zone purge recalled the feeling of betrayal and uh, being targeted and attacked by an Anka and their feelings of fear. Civil parties also testified that they were harmed and continued to suffer due to the loss of property which was confiscated during the regime. Civil party Chun Samon testified to the additional burden of caring for his sister's family because her husband was killed during the regime. Before 1975, Civil party Chun Samon lived in Tumai village. Ksad commune, Kampumuru district, Spiri province, and was around 18 years old when the Khmerus came to power. He joined the Khmerus in May 1975 and was initially a messenger for Unit 75. Civil party Chun Samon was arrested in August 1978 and narrowly escaped uh, being executed like the rest of his unit by fleeing to Vietnam. Civil party Chun Samon expressed his suffering as a result of the internal purge of the East Zone through the chamber and please uh, press the video clip number four. I joined the revolution Revolutionary yeah, Army of Kampuchea in May 1975. At the time, I had complete confidence in the Upper Anka to lead the country. I sacrificed myself for my nation, my country, and for Cambodian people. I respected the plans of the party and I implemented and adhered to all disciplines. I myself was engaged in the fighting against the enemy day and night. Sometimes I went without food for two or two, three days and sometimes there was no water to drink. The situation was so miserable. However, as a result, myself and many East Zone soldiers were accused by Anka of Moi betraying the party. We were arrested and sent for execution. I was in great shock at the time, and I could not believe the actions of the regime. Thank you. Allow me to speak about another uh, civil party. Je vais présent évoquer une autre partie civile. Uh, my uh, apology. Civil party Yunbun was taken to a pit full of dead bodies and hit in the head with an axe three times before being dumped in the pit. He testified. Please play with your clip number five. Trois fois à la tête avec une hache avant d'être jeté dans la fosse. Et elle dit ce qui suit dans la vidéo numéro 4, dont je Her demande la projection. siblings were taken away to be killed with me. I told her Ces that those people were taken away to be 
kill. I told her to tell her brother not to go because he would be taken away to be killed. She then went to tell her elder brother that, and he said the party would never take people away to be killed. And then he was taken away and disappeared until nowadays. And another civil party, uh, Mr. President, through TCCP, 1040, who was uh, sent to Pusat from private province and who was a former is a zone soldier. He was seriously mistreated upon arrival. He described about the misery and